Hello everyone, this is George from Invensys Learning with yet another session on business analysis. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Understanding, verifying, and communicating user requirements can be a daunting task for business analysts. So, what's the solution? Modeling requirements with the help of use case diagrams. So, what exactly are use case diagrams? That's the topic for today. Now, let us quickly go through the agenda. We will begin by discussing what a use case diagram is. Then we shall look into the history of use cases. Moving on, we will touch on why use cases are important. Next, we will discuss the different types of use cases. Later, we will talk about how a use case helps a business analyst. Then, we shall see the various components of use cases and wrap up the session by looking at real-time examples of use case diagrams. I hope the agenda is clear to you guys. Let's get started then. So, what exactly is a use case diagram? Before I start defining use cases, let us consider a situation where a customer needs to buy a product from the shop. He has a facility to use coupons to avail the discounts. The customer also has an option to choose an additional product along with it. So cool, right? Viewing from a business perspective, this scenario can be broken down into multiple features or stories, which can be represented with a use case diagram. Few use cases that came into picture in the given situation are buying a product, using discount coupons, availing discounts, choosing additional product. Now why are these called use cases? This is because a use case represents an interaction or a functionality of the system. Those points which I mentioned as use cases are also the functionalities a user is performing to reach his or her intentions. Let me now define the use case so that you can understand even better. The use case is a set of sequences of interactions between systems and users in a system that helps to reach a particular destination. They are the textual and visual representation of a user's behavior. They specify the expected behavior, but not the exact method of how a user may react. Use case modeling is a method that describes what a system will do. It focuses on the users of the system and its needs. As a use case consists of narrative text and is easily understandable by all stakeholders. Now, how did the concept of use case diagrams come into existence? Let's take a trip into the history of use case diagrams, shall we? In the mid-1990s, UML emerged as a combination of three methods, that is, Vooch, OOSE, and OMT. Vooch is a method for object-oriented software development. It is made of an object modeling language. Object-oriented software engineering is a software design technique that is used in software design using object-oriented programming. The object modeling technique is a modeling technique used for software modeling and designing. This allowed the developers to rely on a system that had stability and predictability. In 1996, the object management group asked for IBM, Microsoft, and Oracle to create a modeling language. Then software engineers like Grady Booch, Ivar Jacobson, and James Rumbaugh of Rational Software invented UML during 1994 and 1995. It was under development until 1996. Later, their combined efforts made UML 1.0. This quickly gained a standard and gradually got updated. Moving on, why are use cases important? What should you use them for? Before knowing the advantages and benefits of using a use case, let us consider an example of a bank where a customer wants to deposit money. Generally, before depositing the money, you must have an account. If not, you must open an account in that particular bank. To do this, the customer takes the help of a bank employee and opens a new account. Once the account is opened, he then deposits the money. By seeing the above use case example, you can easily notice certain advantages and benefits of use cases. The primary advantage of use case modeling is that, it helps in designing a system from the user's perspective. It is the best technique for communicating system behavior, in the user's terms through external action. Every use case defines one way the system is used. Use cases can be used in various software development streams, including project planning, implementation, documentation, Test cases etc. Another advantage of use case modeling is that, it also indicates all of the things that might go wrong, this saves a lot of time for the analysts. Now, let us look into some of the benefits of use cases. As you have already seen an example, you can easily say that. A use case is easy to capture the functional requirement. It is easy to write, read, and understand. Use cases help in fulfilling the user demands. Demands of the stakeholders are considered while writing a use case. Now you guys have an idea of what use case diagrams are, and why they are important. There are different types of use cases. Let us discuss them. Use cases can be described both, in a textual and visual format. 
Likewise, it can be divided into business and system use cases. Now, let's understand both of them in detail. Business use case. A business use case is also known as an abstract level use case. This is because it is written at an abstract level. Written in a high-level business process, which means that it is explained in a technology agnostic manner. It involves a sequence of actions that the business process will involve. That is, sequences of different functions can be found. It gives an observable result that can be easily understood. System use case. A system use case is also known as an implementation use case. This use case is written at a lower level of detail compared to that of a business use case, hence, it is a low level business process. It includes specific processes that will be carried in a process, as it mainly concentrated to achieve the task effectively. It explains the end to end process. To tell you I in simpler words, eat food becomes a business use case, whereas eat food before it gets cold becomes a system use case. Normally, many professionals will start writing the use case with high level language and continue with the low level language. Now, we shall see how use case diagrams help business analysts. The use case diagram is an essential technique used by a business analyst to deal with the business's scope and functional aspects. They usually write use cases to build a gap between themselves and the IT department to provide technical solutions. Use cases are employed during several software development stages like creating, planning, validating, testing the user manuals. A use case document helps the development team to identify and understand where errors are found. These allow the developers to understand the actual system design flow that to be followed while creating a solution. An analyst requires the use case diagram to correct the final stage of the project technically. Getting the original functional requirements right using the UML use case diagram with the business is essential for business analysts. Analysts apply use case modeling for the following reasons. Create the requirements. Verify the systems. Models the goals of the system. Focuses both on the user system and real-time system. Now, let us go through the various use case components. A use case is a process of how a person uses that system. It is associated with software systems. Let me take an example of a school that is publishing the student's results on the website. Keeping this example, I shall explain to you the different components of a use case. The first one would be an actor. In general, an actor may include a single user or a group of people, the machines, and the external organizations to the system. They are the ones who must interact with the system. In this particular example, the actors are teachers, an admin who uploads the results to website, student. The next use case component is the system. In simpler words, system involves the process that helps in reaching the result. The system is always enclosed within a boundary and the different stages are present within the limitation itself. Inside a system, different use cases are mentioned, which are enclosed in an oval shape. As you already are familiar with the use cases, it's easy to identify them. So, the use cases would be admin uploading the results into the website, teachers verifying the uploaded details, Students log in. Students entering the user ID and password. Students checking for the results. The next use case component is the goal. This represents the required outcome. In our example, getting the result would be the goal. We have already seen some of the use case components. Those are the essential ones. Along with that, some additional components must be included in a use case. Now, we shall discuss them. Additional elements that a use case can have are the first component would be stakeholders. Stakeholders may be a person or group of people interested in knowing the system's process. In our case, the school is a stakeholder. Preconditions are the next use case component we must consider before writing any use case. These are the external aspects that must be confirmed before a use case is processed. In our example, proper system connection becomes the precondition. Post conditions describes the state of the system at the conclusion. This is another component present in a use case. In this particular case, mailing the student after entering the right user ID and password becomes the post conditions. Business rules are another use case component. They are the functional rules that govern the environment where the process flow takes place. In the mentioned example, students must log in only between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. becomes the business rule. Now, to make you understand clearly about the term use cases, let us consider an example and then explain it to you by showing you a use case demo. Now, to make you understand clearly about the term use cases, let us well, let us consider a movie ticket reservation system. Firstly, 
While understanding a use case, it is required to identify the different use case components and their part functionality. Once this is known, understanding becomes easy. As I have already told you, the system should be enclosed within a boundary as shown. Secondly, who all can be the actors? So, generally, actors are visually represented using a person. For this movie ticket reservation system, we can include a customer who is willing to watch a movie, maybe one or many, the owner who has the authority to either allow or deny the customers based on the ticket he checks, the gateway admin who collects money to generate the ticket or to refund money and cancel the ticket, an administrator who is responsible for uploading the movie into the database. And, the last actor is the canteen owner who would provide the essentials which asked by the customers. Well, now I think you are clear with actors. Now, we shall focus on the central concept, that is, use case. So, as already mentioned you, say cases are represented using oval shapes. The use case scenario is a single relationship between a use case and an actor. The first use case would be, the admin uploading the movie details into the database. In this stage, the administrator will check for the new movies which are currently present. After that, he has to reach the movie operator and get the required details. After he is sure that the received copies are perfect, he will upload the details. The next use case includes, booking a ticket. Firstly, the customer comes into the picture, then, he must select a particular language he is interested in. After that, he will choose a specific movie, which he needs. After this, he can book the ticket. After choosing the movie, the customer must confirm the number of seats, this depends on the customer. Sometimes, the booking may be filled, and there would be no enough seats that a customer would be looking for. During that time, he won't be able to select that number of seats. This becomes the third use case. Later on, the customer would have permission to select the seat slots. This may include golden slots, silver slots, and platinum slots. He can also choose seats row-wise, like the front panel, back panel, or middle panel. This becomes another use case. Once a seat is selected, the customer would have an option to order the snacks along with the ticket. This depends on the customer, whether to either consider snacks or not. If he or she is interested in having snacks, he has to choose those items he is willing to. If not, he can skip this stage. This becomes the next use case. Next, the customer is required to pay the amount for this. A customer can either have one or two bills depending on whether the customer chose snacks or not. In the end, both the payments are merged and would be shown to the customer. After this, for making the payment, he or she would have an option to choose the payment methods. The mode of payment may include net banking, card payment, pay TM, etc. This is another use case. Once the payment is made, a ticket is generated along with the food coupon. The ticket generated would have all the details like movie name, number of seats, selected seat slot, and also if a food coupon is present. If a food coupon is present, there also details are mentioned. The details would be like, the name of the food, a number of food items ordered and the type of food. After the details are mentioned, this would be sent to the customer. This is another use case. Sometimes, the customer may have to cancel the ticket, and the booking system also considers that. Once the request of cancellation of ticket is received, then the gateway admin considers it. Then the admin asks the reason for the cancellation and accepts the requests accordingly. This becomes the next use case. The final use case would be to enter the cinema hall. For this, the customer has to show the ticket while entering the cinema hall. During that time, the owner checks for the details, and if acceptable, he allows the customers. Now, you have seen all the use cases, let us look into the relationship linked in every use case. Uploading to the database, administrator and owner, booking a ticket, customer and administrator, number of seats, customer and administrator, selection of seat, customer and administrator, snacks, customer and canteen owner, payment, customer and gateway, ticket generation, gateway and customer, ticket cancellation, customer and gateway, entry, customer and owner. Well, I think the demo gave you an idea about the use case. So, you would have understood that, once a use case model is developed, it drives many other software development aspects, including project planning, implementation, test case definitions, and user documentation. To know more about this, we at Invensys Learning, We'll provide certification training courses for business analysis foundation and practitioner qualifications. Enroll now with Invensys Learning to learn from the industry's best and become a certified business analysis professional. For more updates on trending technologies, subscribe to Invensys Learning YouTube channel. Also, if you have any queries, share them with us in the comments section.